good afternoon and welcome to What's Your Watch List. Today we're going to be talking about Andor. So before we get started, go ahead and let everybody know that we do have spoilers in here. We're going to go ahead and finish that up here in just a moment. Before then, we're going to go ahead and throw this up. Every single uh, episode I've had, I've done it. I'm going to keep doing it with them. Everyone has their opinion, and that's absolutely fine. However, we do not allow drama or negativity or anything like that on this. So if you want to do something to incite uh, you know, somebody getting overly upset about something, I'm not going to have that. If you want to go ahead and have a discussion about something, go for it. That being said, just remember, everybody's trying to have fun. So we're going to move forward with this one. So spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You have been warned. All right, so we are talking about Andor, the new Star Wars series that is on Disney Plus right now. Uh, we've got three episodes that are dropped on there. So we're going to kind of give an overview on that, a brief overview, and then see where it leads from there. Uh, every week I'll go ahead and do an updated review on it so we can keep track of it up to date and just see what happens from there. So we got Andor. The name already, for a Star Wars fan, you're kind of like, oh, interesting. You know, some somewhere I'm familiar with. I've heard the name before. I know the storyline to a degree. A lot more involved in what's going on. This is where you start finding out how the spy that infiltrated the Imperial ranks came about. Anyone who has seen Rogue One already knows how that turned out and the importance, the significance of that movie so much for the other movies to ever even be thought of, um, which is interesting since those were made well before this was ever done. So don't get me started on the timeline of Star Wars way all over the place. So Andor shows you you don't have to be human to be human. Just kind of keep that in mind because we're talking about races of aliens, we're talking about droids, we're talking about all kinds of things. There's a droid in particular, hilarious little thing. Uh, it's, it's the comedic sidekick almost, but then and again, it has a very true human feel to it for a droid. For one thing, it stutters. I think that's great. It's a flawed droid. How many times have you seen that? How many times have you seen where a droid can be flawed, funny, and still be significant? C-3PO. I'm sorry. Um, must have dust or something around here. I don't know. But uh, there have been ones that have done it. Most definitely. But sometimes it's overshadowed whenever you're writing the story, whenever you're creating everything on there, and you're creating, creating this. This story actually has, it's a folded timeline. It actually shows where Cassis come from, which is a very primitive place, and where he is now, and then the events that are folding from that, which kind of tie in to both, which is very interesting how they did that. Cassis actually uh, gets strong-armed, a couple of security guards who were telling him basically you're outside you know past curfew whatever in our area uh, the only way you get out of this is to go ahead and bribe us they don't use those exact words but we know how that goes he's hiding something he's hiding something big doesn't want to get pinched or taken in by the authorities or anything he is willing to give the money doesn't know if they're going to actually just be good with just money plus it puts a target on his back for later on. Push comes to shove, literally. And uh, one of them actually dies, the security guard. And now he is marked. He is, he's wanted. That's not good for somebody who's trying to fly under the radar with a lot of things. You still haven't found out exactly what all is going on, what all is happening with this, and why he's hiding until you get to the end of episode three. And you kind of find some of the tie-ins on there. 
what happened on that primitive world that would have put a target on his back then. Well, even as a child, Empire doesn't really forget things too well. And we're talking about back whenever they weren't as evil as they became, uh, or so we thought. They're still, they still got some stuff to them. So, on Andor, the buyer for a particular piece of uh, smuggled property shows up. He knows a lot more about Cassius than he's leaning on to. And uh, they end up getting cornered by the Empire. What happens next was above and beyond phenomenal. The fact that you you get a first glimpse as to what the rebellion and what the rebels actually are. It's not always about who's got the bigger gun, who can fire better, anything like that. It's about intimidation and numbers and intimidation and the fact that they have the will to survive and the will to go ahead and carry on the way that they choose to do so. That being said, while the Empire's down there and they sent, I believe it was, 12 armed guards and two uh, captains or two ranking officers. Quite a bit of firepower to be going on a planet that's really just doesn't have any kind of weapon breathe that to that degree. So as they're going through the town and heading toward Cass's place to go ahead and arrest him, various members from the town are going to these little instruments that are hanging on the side of their buildings, and they're clanking away at them in a continued pattern that you'll see one clanking on here, you know, a couple of corners down, you can actually see down, and another guy will pick up one of the instruments and start clanking on it the same way until you start hearing it echoing all the way around the town. Again, you start seeing the guerrilla warfare tactics starting. When it stops, though, that's whenever it gets interesting. The sound stops. The empire that was actually there to carry out whatever military orders they were under, now they're being hunted and uh, successfully at that, by the way. Interesting to see. I haven't seen this kind of, this level of guerrilla tactics since the Ewoks. Kind of seeing something that's going to be happening anyway later on. You know how that goes. They're only on the moon. Anyway, episodes one through three on here right now. I'm having a blast with Andor. Andor is reminding me Star Wars is a saga with many races, things like that on there, but it always reminds you that you're human. There are still human attributes to pretty much everything that's out there. It's always to look past what you see right in front of you. That's kind of what we're seeing here, and in order to go ahead and move to each episode on there, you have to look past everything to absorb everything as well. It's complex, but it's fun. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some more on this one. Again, this is Andor on Disney+. Plus. New episodes drop on Wednesdays, if I'm not mistaken. And I will be going ahead and reviewing this weekly as it comes out. So we'll be looking at next Wednesday will be the new one coming out. I'll watch it, and then it'll probably drop the following weekend. I'll go ahead and give a couple of days for people to watch it, and then give me a couple of days to go ahead and uh, record it and pop it out there, too. So, tell me what you thought. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you, what's going on. Again, keep in mind, we're keeping this positive and all. If you want a discussion, fine. If you want to go ahead and uh, troll or incite some hate in here and everything, we don't do that. We have a lot of fun. So, that being said, please, please, please like, subscribe, share. Like the video so we can move it up further. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the episodes of not just this, but any other content I have on my channel here. And then share so that uh, more people can get involved, whether you like it or not. Let people, other people know. You never know what bag everybody's into. So that being said, thank you very much for being here. Looking forward to going ahead and reviewing this on a week-to-week -week basis. So until next time.
What's your watch list? 